Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video because after more than six months, I have finally decided to make over my living room. If you saw my ugly apartment tour six months ago, you would have known that my apartment has been a bit of a mess for the better part of six years. In my ugly apartment tour video, I specifically asked you guys for advice on whether I should get a sofa or a day bed. Let me know in the comments below if you have a day bed that you use as a sofa and if you think it's comfortable or not. So many of you guys left me comments saying not to go with a day bed and to go with a sofa and I listened to you guys. And that's why I'm so happy to be partnering with Article on this video. If you guys don't know, Article is an online furniture company that sells sofas, tables, bedding, credenzas, kind of anything you can think of for the home, even accessories, as well as outdoor furniture. Any orders under $9.99 ship for only $49, and then anything above that is absolutely free. And anything that's in stock ships really, really quickly. Two of the items, I'm partnering with them on this video, and one of the items, after looking at the quality and having it for a while, I went and purchased myself. Before we get started, I wanted to give you guys a look at what my apartment looked like before and how much of a mess it was. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, I, oh, oh yes, I like that. The sofa that I chose is the Sika sofa in quartz white. I was gonna go for the gray, but I thought the white had a nice clean look for what I was going for. I wanted something that was going to be firm and not really slouch as soon as you sat down in it. This one for sure keeps its shape. This thing is super deep. I am five foot nine and look how much space I still have left over. It's a linen fabric and it's super easy to clean. I was so excited getting acquainted with my new sofa and seeing how comfortable it was that I totally forgot to open up the table and the chairs. But before I do that, I want to take a tour so you guys know what it looks like before if you haven't seen any of my previous videos and let you know what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm breaking this video into two parts because I wanna live with some of the elements for a little while before I move on to the next step. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is unboxing this table. This is a Carrera Marble Cafe table and I'm super excited about that. And then I also purchased some chairs to go with it. And then going this way, this is the wall where you can see I've kind of already started to make my wall of shelves. I'm going to be getting rid of this yellow um, dresser and then I'm going to be taking the one from my bedroom and bringing it out here and painting this entire thing white. I'm not going to be doing anything on this side because I need to get a new table and new curtains. So all of the accessorizing will come in the second part. Once it shipped out, it was delivered super quick and Article is doing contactless delivery so they can drop everything at your door and deliver it to you safely. Oh my goodness, look how perfect this marble table is. It's an actual Carrera marble slab, so it's not just like a picture painted on here. This is actually real Carrera marble. So all of the veins, all of the coloring is gonna be different with each piece. The table fits on top of real wood legs. And then I went out myself and I bought the chairs because for one, they matched perfectly on the website. And I wanted to make sure that the chairs would slide under the table perfectly and just be really compact. I was waiting for the sun to go down to tackle the rest because it is so hot and I have yet to put in my air conditioners. The brown cabinets are a nice color and they actually match the base of the table. But if you want to know anything about me, I paint all furniture. I like really bright colors and these cabinets are gonna get painted eventually a color pink. I haven't chosen the color yet, but for now I'm going to paint them white so that when I choose the color, I can just go right over. Now 
Now that I've got all the cabinets in exactly the place where I want them to be, it was time to do my DIY projects. <laughs> I sanded everything down, wiped it down, and then hit it with a coat of paint. I got some wood legs online just to raise some of the cabinets. Painted my vintage frame. Put a couple of coats of spray paint on a mirror that was a little old and just dreary. And after a full night of DIYs, I actually like the white cabinets. I was a bit surprised. I thought I was going to hate it, but I may keep it for a little while. And now it's time to put the room back together. I plan on gold leafing this mirror later on, so I just hit it with a couple coats of a brown metallic spray paint, and then later I can gold leaf it on top. I wanted to give this side of the room some height since everything is so low over here and there is a big tree over here so I wanted to give some height to the room and I went out and I bought these faux flowers, faux berries and then I also have some limes in here, some limes and I thought that would be beautiful for the summer. I might just change them out every season so seasonally I'll get some fall and winter foliage, foliage is that how you say it? Um, and then I just added some faux uh, regular green plants in here as well just as a filler and I think it's gonna look really nice. I'm gonna place these stems in first and then I'll go back in with the regular greenery and filler to kind of give it a little bit of a spruce. fiddle leaf tree for about a year now and it brings me so much joy. I cannot keep real plants alive so this is the best that I can do but I've always had the dream of having like a rose bush or a rose garden. Obviously I live in an apartment so that's not possible so I had the idea to turn this fiddle leaf tree into a rose bush and I've got some roses, two kinds, some long stem ones and then some pink ones to just mix it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take these apart and attach both sets of roses to the tree and hopefully it gives it a little bit more life and my perfect rose garden. got from a former client and I haven't had a chance to put it up but I thought this spot would be perfect for it. I haven't done any artwork yet, so I took some pink fabric, wrapped it around some canvas, and I hung that on the wall. Artwork is gonna have to wait.
I want to feel like I'm in a French restaurant every time I sit down and eat. So I added some more faux flowers, some napkins, and I'm going to eat this as soon as this is over. All right, my transformation is finally done. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. Thank you guys so much for watching this transformation. It's only part one, I will be accessorizing later, but I love this finished product. It is a long way from where I started. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one.